Don Roussel here. It's been a while since I've done a video. What we're going to do today is to do an update on an, my pedal board. I added a new pedal. I added an MXR uh, Octave. Octave Deluxe. Yeah, that's what I did. And we're going to spend a minute on it. And uh, it, It's a really nice pedal. I think you'll like it. This is the new pedal. This is the MXR Bass Octave Deluxe. It's a really good pedal. It's very sturdy. Very strong, and it's by MXR, which is a good company. This particular pedal is a true bypass pedal, so the, the, the signal is not affected by anything in there, in any one of these other pedals. The key to this pedal is understanding that these three knobs work in conjunction with one another. First of all, the growl is going to give you just what it says, growl. Now notice I have the dry portion or the dry knob at 12 o'clock. Let me tell you why. Because when I engage the pedal with the, with the growl off, so this, this is the pedal with just a dry signal. Well, it's not even engaged, the pedal is on. You see the, the mid button there, that's to tell you that the mid signal internally is on, but nothing is engaged, okay? The pedal is now engaged, and you see the dry knob is at 12 o'clock. That's the dry signal, even though the pedal is engaged. Okay, but the growl is off and the girth is off. And these, this is how you get the sound you're looking for. Let's just say, let's turn up the growl. You hear that? That's disengaged, that's just dry. Let's engage the growl. You get a little growl in there. Now if you want more growl, turn down the dry and the dry is the bass by itself or the mixture of the bass and the growl that's what that knob this knob does but i did that for illustrative purposes let's see if you can hear it now that's much more growl that's just the bass that's growl engaged okay now you got growl and you got the dry meaning how much of your bass you want to cut through of that signal okay Let's move on to the girth, and this is where you begin to hear the effects of the pedal. Okay, there's nothing. Let's dial up the girth, let's say to match the same thing we have for growl, right? That's dry, that's engaged. So you hear it now? Hear that? Disengaged. Engaged. You hear that now? So you color your tone or build your tone or build the sound you're looking for with the, the octave pedal by dialing in the amount of a dry signal that you want, but you have to use these two buttons to get the sound. So they all three work together, but the dry is going to determine how much of your natural sound will go through there. So it really depends on what you're looking for. Another feature on this particular pedal is this mid-range button. And you, and you might say, well, what was this light that you could see so clearly? Why was it there? Well, it's a mid-range button, and it's an internal thing. When you engage this button, internally, the mid-range is engaged. There's nothing to adjust. It does it automatically based on where you have this stuff set. So what I'm going to do is I'll disengage it. I'll let you hear what it sounds like dry, and I'll let you hear what it sounds like with the mid-range engaged. Okay, here's just the bass. Uh, wait. Here's it with the pedal engaged. You hear that? Now it's with the mid-range engaged. Watch the difference that it makes. And again, you don't do anything to it, you just engage that button. You hear all that mid-range that's just coming through there? Here's it disengaged. Engaged. And you can tweak your knobs and kick that mid-range in there too to see how it sounds, because it's gonna sound differently every time you change your girth or your growl, you know. 
what you're trying to do is tailor your sound to be just that, your sound. You don't want to emulate any, anybody. You want to listen to people and learn from them, but you are really and truly trying to define yourself. What is it that's going to make you tick? Boy, that thing sounds good. I love it. Go out and get you an MXR octave pedal. And when your solo time comes up, stretch out. Make some noise.